Hello, my name is Yulis Anjanas, and this is a video abstract for a review article called Enzalutamide as a second generation antiandrogen for treatment of advanced prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the most common malignancy and the third leading cancer related cause of death among men of Western world. While prostate cancer incidence remains high, we're becoming increasingly better at treating the malignant disease at early stages. It has been well established that the development of prostate cancer is primarily driven by androgens, and so most of the patients are initially responsive to androgen deprivation therapy. Nevertheless, approximately 11.5% of all the patients undergoing such therapy for an extended period of time will become irresponsive, at which point the disease is said to progress into castration-resistant prostate cancer, or CRPC for short. Unfortunately, at castration-resistant stage, the treatment options become scarce, and to the current day, the disease is said to be incurable. In the past, CRPC was believed to be hormone refractory or androgen insensitive. However, a large body of evidence now indicates that even in androgen-deprived environments, prostate cancer cells remain to be dependent on androgen signaling. With that in mind, a multitude of novel second-generation antiandrogens are currently on their way or has already reached the market for treatment of CRPC. One of these second-generation antiandrogens is enzalutamide, formerly known as MDV-3100. Enzalutamide has been licensed and developed by a pharmaceutical company Medivation. It has completed clinical trials and has already been approved by the FDA for treatment of metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer. On that note, in this article, we will briefly touch upon the advances made in prostate cancer treatments. We will summarize recently completed and still ongoing clinical trials of enzalutamide. And lastly, we will discuss advantages, disadvantages, and possibly the future goals of antiandrogen therapies.